Today we're going to take a look at how to integrate Circle CI within the API builder of Postman. To get started, I've got an open API specification already set up here that returns a simple joke. Let's go see what we need to do over at Circle CI. To get started, we need an access token. So I'm going to scroll down on the left side, down to the very bottom, to click on my user profile icon to go into the user settings. From here, I'm going to click on personal API tokens, and I'm going to create a new token. I need to give this token a name. I'm going to call it Postman. Click on the button that says Add API Token. I'm going to go ahead and copy this to my clipboard. The next thing that I need to do before I go back to Postman is I need to actually follow a project. So I've got this dad joke API. I'm going to click on Setup Project. I'm going to use my main branch. I'm going to go ahead and set this up. Now, this is something that I've already been using within, uh, within Circle CI. So it's already got some pre-made things that I've been running with some Python testing. All right, let's go back over to Postman. So to get started here, we're going to click on the version of the API within the API builder. In this case, what I imported was a documentation version of the Open API spec, and it created this draft version. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the word draft. And from here, I want to click on test. Within that test portion of the workbench, I want to find the Connect to CI-CD Builds section. And from here, I'm going to click on the Circle CI button. It's going to ask for a nickname. I'm just going to call this Jokes. And now it's asking for an API key. I'm going to go ahead and paste in that access key that we just made over at Circle CI. And now it's going to ask us to choose our project. In this case, the Dad Joke API project that I had set up a moment ago is the only one showing up in that list. I'm going to pick that from the list and click the Connect button. From here, we can see the status that it imported from CircleCI of all of the previous builds that have been done. And if we go back over to CircleCI, we can actually start running a new workflow over here. And if we go back over to Postman, we can refresh the build run, and we see that it's running over here as well. We can also trigger these from within Postman as well. We can tell it to run a new build if we want to trigger a run manually. So we're going to wait for a moment and let that finish. We're going to click on Refresh. Looks like that build failed. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to run a new build ourselves. So we're going to click on the Run Build button. We're going to tell it which branch to use. We're going to use that main branch, and we're going to try and run another build. In this case, we see that it's queued up. We can hit the Refresh button. Now we see that that's running. This is probably also going to fail, but that's OK. So this is going to work fine if we have Python testing set up. But what if we want to have some JavaScript testing from inside of Postman and we want to use Newman? Well, when we imported the Open API specification, it imported as documentation mode. In order to use Newman with Circle CI, we have to make sure that our API is using a test suite. So I'm going to go back and click on the version of the API, in this case, the draft. And over here on the workbench, I want to find the button that says Add Test Suite. I'm going to create a new test. And I'm just going to call this uh, Joke API uh, Test Suite. I'm going to go ahead and click on the button that says Create Test. It's going to make a whole new collection of these endpoints. But what we can do now is inside of these endpoints, I'm going to go ahead and add some JavaScript test code. I'm just going to add a quick status code uh, 200 check on both of these endpoints, just so there's a little bit of code that can run. I'll go ahead and save all of that work. And now we're almost ready to go. So back up here in draft mode, when I click on the draft version, on that test tab here on the workbench, I want to look down at the very bottom for a link that says view all builds. When I click on view all builds, from here, we should see a button up in the top right corner that allows us to configure Newman. I'm going to go ahead and click on that button, and it's going to ask us which collection that we want. Now, this collection is going to come from the test suite that we just set up. If you don't have a test suite, nothing is going to show up here. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the Joke API test suite that we just made. I don't have any environments in my current workspace, so I don't need to select one here, but you could if you had one. 
Um, and now it's giving us a whole new uh, CircleCI YAML file here. Now, in this case, I already had some CircleCI configuration built to run my Python tests. Um, and so for now, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to overwrite all of that. And so instead of running my Python tests, it's going to run these JavaScript tests with Newman instead. Now, it's also telling us down here at the bottom that we're going to need a Postman API key as well. And we can see these variables coming in here. We're going to need to make sure that we set that up. So you will need a Postman API key to make this work. I've already got one generated. And so I'm going to be using that. I've done that off screen so it doesn't expose my API key. But I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to make sure that this is copied over my clipboard. I'm going to click on the Finish button down here at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and refresh this. Yeah, that build also failed, and that's okay. All right, so now what we need to do is we need to make sure that we have this set up properly over at CircleCI as well. So let's go back over to CircleCI. The first thing that we need to do here is we need to tell it which branch we're going to configure to use Newman. And so on uh, the project screen for the, the individual project that we're going to use, we want to find a drop down that says all branches, and we want to pick a specific branch. When we pick a specific branch, we're going to see this edit config button become enabled. So we're going to go ahead and click on that drop down. I'm going to click the main branch, and now we see that button is enabled and ready to go. I'm going to click on edit config. And it pops us into an editor. Now, this is where I've been running my Python scripts. So I'm going to move this out of the way for a moment. And I'm just going to go ahead and replace all of this with what we got from Postman earlier. Now, we can see that um, it's got my collection ID in here. There's a lot of information in here. Uh, let me see if I can scroll back over here. And what we have is we have our Postman API key. Now, this is going to be coming in from an environment variable. And so we need to make sure that we actually replace this with a real Postman API key. So I'm going to do that off camera for a moment, just so it doesn't expose my API key. OK, so I've replaced my Postman API key in place of those uh, markers inside that file. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Save and Run here at the top. It's asking us here which branch we want to work on. We're going to go ahead and commit this to our main branch. So in this case, the configuration came up with an error, but this error is a little bit misleading. Let me explain why. It says that it thinks that it ran. If we come in and we look at the status of everything, it looks like it actually installed Newman and ran everything. And if we scroll down a little bit, uh, we can see that it actually ran OK. And it uploaded all of that data over to Postman successfully, but then exited with an error code. Let's go over to Postman and see if we can figure out why. If we come over to Postman, what we want to do from here is we want to click on the collection itself. And this is the test suite collection. And from here, we want to click on Run History. From here, we can see that Newman actually ran. And if we view the details, we see that two of the tests failed. And that's because my API is not actually running anywhere. There was nothing to connect to localhost 5000, especially if I was running this on a local internal network. CircleCI, of course, can't uh, connect to a local host, uh, host name. And so if you had your API hosted somewhere publicly or somewhere that CircleCI had access to, uh, say, in a virtual private cloud or something along those lines, then you would be able to access uh, that API and those tests would run successfully. In this case, because I don't have the API running at all on my system, these tests aren't going to be able to run. And so this is actually a success in a way in that it, it did generate the Newman test. It ran that successfully, but all of the tests failed because it couldn't actually connect to the API. The other thing worth noting is down here in the bottom corner, it noticed that because I had put my Postman API key inside of my CircleCI configuration, it's warning me that my project on GitHub has exposed this, and it's warning me to go and revoke that API key, which I'm going to do right away. So make sure that you don't publish those in a public way. There's a way to do it within CircleCI where you can save that as a... An, a where you can save that as an environment variable and then access that within your CircleCI configuration. And we definitely recommend that you do that. Do not expose your actual API key in a GitHub repository like I've done here.